So my daughter loves her playset that is in the backyard. It's actually one of the main reasons we bought the house because of this beautiful yard and this beautiful playset in the middle of it. Unfortunately, it is extremely in disrepair and is not very safe for her to be playing on. So the problem with this thing right now is the fact that it's basically falling apart. It's been here since before the house was ours and from the previous owners we heard that it's pretty much about 15 years old and the company phone number up on the crossbars that doesn't even work anymore. So what we're gonna be doing is disassembling the thing and replacing it with a brand new one because building one from scratch is probably out of my depth still. <laughs> I'm not that good yet. We are going to have to buy a pre-made kit from the local Costco. So I'm gonna be going and picking that up in a truck rental and then heading here and trying to disassemble this whole thing. And I fully expect this to be a bit dangerous because most of the wood in this whole thing is rotted almost entirely through and most of these screws, which are used to install everything, are almost entirely rusted, meaning you're not just gonna be able to unscrew things and unbolt things and be good to go. We're gonna have to tear this thing apart with power tools, which I didn't really have many of before I started this project, but you'll see in a minute, I did some upgrading. So this thing is going to be going away soon for something a lot safer for my daughter and a lot more in good condition, not structurally unsound. Thing is on its way out to be replaced by something just a little bit more safe and a little bit more from this decade. Uh, <laughs> time for the disassembly and assembly of a brand new backyard upgrade. One thing we lucked out on is that this thing is actually not bolted into the ground at all. It's just on these supports. I can get my flip flop under there, which means it's all just resting on these two A-frames. And we don't have to worry about digging it out or doing any concrete work. The biggest problem we're gonna have is getting that out of the ground <laughs> and getting those cross beams down safely. Thankfully, a majority of the connections are just with these simple hex bolts that will just be able to ratchet out. Hopefully these are not as rusty as things like these screws, which are square heads, which is annoying to get rid of in the first place. But then again, they all attach via these secondary panels on the wood meaning that this bit and these crossbars is not in actually attached to this ramp, meaning this is one piece, this is one piece, and this is a third, which should make it a little bit easier to get rid of. And to top it all off, I have one weekend to do this with actual help in the highest count pollen day of the month so far. And with my allergies, that's gonna suck. So let's just try to get this done and get this over with. Like the attention, girl, I know you, know you But you're everything I want in life yeah. We're fighting danger like Kung Fu The love I feel is deep inside The others don't matter It's honestly us against the world We're the perfect team You're my dream and I just want it
you ever need to help her? Hey, you should. So now this has turned into a playground, the two towers. With that crossbar down, the biggest piece that we had to worry about, now all we have to do is worry about disassembling these from top to bottom. And considering this one, I could literally just kick it apart because the wood was that rotted. It's not going to be too hard. Yeah, I just wanna. Yeah. You're my dream, but I just wanna. From the start, you my bunny, I'm your clock From now to eternity, I give you all my heart We are meant to be, it's clear to see My love is bigger than I thought I got everything I want when I hold you with my arm Now there's no matter my love And then the camera battery died. Oops. Uh, yeah, we demolished that box and ripped everything out. I didn't cut my hands at all. I was actually somewhat impressed with that. Uh, my phone has like 2% battery. I'm going to recharge it and we'll get back at this in a little bit. Look at how bad this was. Like, this is even worse than I thought. Wow. This is nailed in. Hey. And you could just rotate the whole thing. I'm amazed that this didn't fall apart earlier. It's a mess. Okay, so a quick recharge, both camera and physically, we had a quick bit to eat. Now, it's time to take down the second one of these towers. This just keeps getting worse. The bolts are just shearing off. They're not even unscrewing fully. They're just breaking off about an inch underneath the head. This thing was a death trap. Phone's battery is about to die again. Uh, but we've gotten that far. You've watched us pull out a ton of boards and a ton of those little cross posts. And you've heard exactly how difficult it's been. So I'm gonna go let this charge again while we do that before we lose what's left of daylight because we're just about out of time. And then tomorrow in the morning, we get to put a brand new playset right there. Dawn of the second day. Uh, we have all of the boxes for the new playground set, ready to go. Poppy's finishing off the last little bit of the bars to disassemble. Hopefully, today is going to be relatively quick. Hopefully. And there it is. Bunch of redwood and instructions 
all the plastic bits for everything we'll need. This actually looks like it's not going to be too hard. The instructions is only like a hundred and some odd steps. That should be okay. Completely just shear off. This is the ones that stayed intact or the wood didn't disintegrate around it so we didn't have to pull it out. This thing is heavy. Like, legitimately heavy. The problem there was these bolts. I thought the bolt went in this and then threaded all the way through. Turns out that's a great way to snap off one of these little tines. The bolt is supposed to go through the whole log and then into this, biting into the wood deeper. Easy mistake, but it costs us one of these. I hope it doesn't mean that we're gonna end up one short. That would be bad. You missed the best part. The time lapse for that just wasn't recording. Uh, but we have a square which is now standing. We're not okay. Hi, dog. 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 They missed it. They missed the best part, dog. What's happening? Okay, so you missed the best part so far, which was getting that square in place. Thankfully, it's there. It is mostly level. We need to get it moved to where it's actually gonna live inside of this area. Doc is like, Dad, love me. Uh, we're gonna get it moved to where it's actually gonna live inside this area. And then, oh God, no dog, there's a two foot drop behind me. Do not push me into that. And then, uh, then actually from here, it's probably relatively straightforward. I know I just jinxed myself, but still. Okay, so the next thing that the instructions say to do is to install all of this decking so you can then stand on this and also be done with this section. It's very much focused on getting this section done first before you get the crossbar for the swings. Except I could do all of this just screwing this into the boards. I can do this by myself and Poppy is only here for the rest of today. So what we're doing is we're skipping ahead and going to install the crossbar for the swings and all of that hardware and just get all of the big structural beams in place and then all of the fine details is something I can work on on my own time. I charged it overnight, but it apparently didn't have enough of a charge to go through all of drilling all of the decking in. So we're on pause at the moment until that gets a little bit more juice in it. Or if I can find another drill somewhere around here. I don't think I have one, but I'm gonna check. So basically what I have to do now is get all of this floor screwed in. You hear that though? That is a screw gun, which 
is at this point pretty much refusing to take a charge. And is barely getting a single screw in. Shit. Playing with you. So it's Tuesday, so two days later, <laughs> Cynthia and Selena are helping clean up the little bit of wood fragments left in the rock, and I have a roof to build. So those are level, but not square with each other, and because of that, these plastic window pieces are about a quarter inch too tall and don't fit in that space. So unfortunately, the drill I have that's powered is one speed, one direction, so I can't undo it and I can't back those screws out to reset everything, so I have to wait until the normal drill is charged, which means this probably resumes tomorrow. So that's it for today. We're all the way up to the top of the structure. No roof yet, no fun stuff. I have the rock wall right there on the ground to assemble. That's gonna be it for today. Now I rest. Okay, uh, Poppy left a little while ago. I got up to there. I have video of most of it because my phone keeps dying on me. But the single speed drill is too much for those roof cedar panels. It keeps smashing them and cracking them, even though the holes are pre-drilled. So I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow to finish this up after work <laughs> with the good drill recharge. So hopefully it was just the battery and not the whole thing that's dead. We'll find out in the morning, I guess. So with the roof, I'm presented with two very unique problems. One, it seems that I'm exactly 80 two inch screws short and I have 80 extra one and a quarter inch screws. Conveniently enough, I have an extra bag of exactly 80 one and a quarter inch screws. So I'm thinking the wrong thing got thrown into my kit. Secondly, the space underneath the boards is now too small for me to actually stand on the platform and screw everything in. So I'm gonna have to jump back on the ladder to be able to finish everything off. So it turns out I've measured this quarter inch too far this direction, meaning this board is just the littlest bit too long. I'll shave it off in the garage. Hi, honey. But my boss wants a slide right now. Right? Slide. Aww. <laughs>
interesting, interestingly enough, so this chalkboard, which comes in with this, by the way, this very cool, like, magnetic chalk holder thing, very nice. Look at that, that's great. Except it doesn't line up with all of the wood, and even if it did, the screws provided for it are too long and pierce through these slats. Actually, it's crazy enough. It says, attach to slats or plywood with four of these. Please note, slats not included. So this is not actually a complete kit. This is missing pieces for us to assemble and install this for right now, but we will get to that in a little bit. I'm bummed, I wanted to finish this today. I wanted to finish this today, but I am running out of daylight. I'm being eaten alive by mosquitoes and I'm actually missing pieces and I need to cut that one slat to get that second slide installed. And I have the last major piece of construction, which is right here, which is the rock wall. Then it's just finishing bits and hardware. So we're almost done, but I think we're gonna end up finishing tomorrow or at least another day this week. This has been way longer of a project than I expected, but this is, yeah, this has been a lot of fun. So one more sleep and then we're finished. Job done. This was a very fun build, an interesting one, and the first major construction project I've had here at the house. Granted, it was a pre constructed kit. And job done. This was a really fun, really interesting build. And granted, it was a pre constructed kit, but we had to improvise and adapt along the way, whether or not it was the fact that this ground is not perfectly level or we made mistakes and had to undo and redo things. It was a lot of learning experience and a lot of something new to play with. I am super excited for my daughter to be able to play on this playset and have fun with this for years to come. And every time I see her out back here, it's gonna be like, oh, I made that. I didn't pay anybody to build that for me. Might not have designed it from scratch, but as long as this thing stands, it's gonna be mine. All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.